Good morning or afternoon, whenever you're watching this, Junior Church. Here's another week of Junior Church via YouTube. We're still in the season for nonviolence. And I'm hoping that you played lots of nonviolent games last week. This week, we're going to focus on practicing listening skills and refraining from foul language. But first, let's go over our four principles like we always do. God is all there is. And God listens all the time because he hears, it hears as you. All thought is creative and influential. Everything is either a call for love or an expression of love, no exceptions. You are whole, perfect, and complete exactly as you are right now. And we're going to read a book in a little bit about being whole, perfect, and complete exactly as you are right now. And also when you're listening, you can really tell if something is either a call for love or an expression of love. And your creative and influential thought will guide those circumstances to be whatever they need to be. First of all, I have a challenge for you before we read our book. This week's challenge is to have you listen, truly listen to someone. You can see some people might need help and so they need to be listened to because they're upset. Other people are just trying to tell you something and you have to listen with all your might to hear what they're trying to say. But I challenge you for two whole minutes to just listen to someone. Ask your grown up to time you and then sit down with somebody and just listen to what they're saying. And if you want an even bigger challenge, after you've listened for two minutes, try to tell them what you heard them say and see how well you do. All right, we're going to read a book now called Listening with My Heart. It's a story of kindness and self-compassion by Gabby Garcia and illustrated by Ying Hu Tan. Listening with My Heart by Gabby Garcia and illustrated by Ying Hui Tan. A story of kindness and self-compassion. Esperanza's tummy fluttered as she practiced her lines on the porch. Today was the class play. Waiting for Mama to walk with her to school, she paced back and forth when she spotted a heart-shaped rock. Esperanza picked it up and showed it to Mama as soon as she walked out. I see you found a little treasure, said Mama. She rubbed its rough surface and felt a twinkle of joy. Maybe it's a sign. For what? asked Mama. Esperanza thought about the class play later that afternoon and wondered what it would be like in the spotlight. To put my heart into everything I do, she answered. At that moment, they heard scratching and a soft cry. Esperanza peeked under the stairs and spotted a kitty shaking and shivering. No mama in sight, so she scooped the kitten onto her lap and cuddled her. She's all alone. I think she's hungry. Esperanza reached for her lunch bag, pinched off a piece of chicken and offered it to the kitty who gobbled it up. Mama, I think the rock is a reminder to spread kindness and love. That's what we do when we listen with our hearts. I think you're on to something, said mama. Can we keep Cleocatra, please? Asked Esperanza, who'd already named the kitty. Queens are always welcome at our house, said Mama. If she's still here after school, we'll take her in. At school, Esperanza was more focused on the play than on math or reading. Clutching her script during recess, she noticed Bao sitting alone on a bench. He was new in school this week and didn't speak English. She wondered if he felt lonely or scared. Esperanza found a soccer ball 
and kicked it over to him. A smile spread across Val's face. He stood, popped the ball in the air, then bounced it between his knee and his head a few times. Dude's got moves, thought Esperanza. They spent the rest of recess giggling and making up hand signals. Afterward, Esperanza borrowed Owen's English Vietnamese dictionary. She wrote friend in Vietnamese, drew a picture of Bao and her, then placed it on his desk. Esperanza rubbed the rock in her pocket, listening with her heart made her feel peaceful inside. Esperanza walked up, whoops, sorry. Finally, it was time for the, for the performance. It was too late for Bao to be in the play, but he stood at Ms. Owen's side as a stagehand. Excitement bubbled as Esperanza awaited her cue. Esperanza walked on stage, tripped as she was about to say her first line and splattered across the stage. When she got up, Esperanza forgot her line, so Ms. Owen whispered them to her from backstage. Heat rushed through Esperanza's body as all eyes were glued to her. She wished she could disappear. I ruined the play, Esperanza thought, rushing off stage as soon as she'd finished her part. I messed up in front of everyone. She tucked herself in behind some props so no one could see her. Esperanza noticed her body shaking and her face still burning. She took a deep breath and tears streamed down her face. Esperanza dug out the rock in her pocket. It was cracked and lopsided, just how she felt. Esperanza touched her hand to her heart and felt the disappointment. A few minutes later, Bao walked over and handed Esperanza a drawing of her with the word friend written above it. Esperanza nodded. She realized she hadn't been treating herself like a friend. Esperanza realized this wasn't the first time she'd been unkind to herself. At the soccer game last weekend, She'd missed the ball that swooshed by her head and they lost the game. Nice work, a player from that team yelled as the others laughed. Esperanza thought she was, she was, sorry, Esperanza thought she was, that she had let her team down and was the worst soccer player in the world. Thinking those thoughts made her feel worse. At the curtain call, Esperanza reminded herself she hadn't ruined the play. She'd had an accident and accidents happened to everyone. Listening with her heart wasn't just about spreading kindness and love to others. It was about giving it to herself too. I can be a friend to myself, thought Esperanza. When Esperanza got home, she decided to do some of her favorite things. She zipped down the hill on her bike then spent the afternoon painting at the kitchen table. She also got the hug she needed from Mama and some cuddles from Cleopatra. So listening with your heart is not only listening to others, but it's listening to yourself too. So let's look at a few things you can do to listen with your heart. Name what you're feeling. Whatever you feel is okay. And listen to your body. Notice the sensations you are having in your body. And pay attention to your self-talk. Are the words that you're saying to yourself, are they supportive and helpful? Be the friend you need to yourself. When you feel sadness, treat yourself like the friend that you need. Show love and kindness to yourself. And when you feel anger, treat yourself like the friend you need. Show love and kindness to yourself. And then you can put in any thought or feeling that you have there. When I feel whatever, may I treat myself like the friend I need. So may I show love and kindness to myself. Some kind words for yourself. And let's do this exercise. Place both hands over your heart. Notice your hands touching each other and touching your heart. Let's take a few deep breaths and close your eyes if you want to. Mm. 
Hmm. What loving and understanding words or phrases would you like to hear when you're having a tough time or feeling upset? What would feel good or comforting to you? Take some time and see what words or phrases come, come up for you. You can write them in a notebook and read them to yourself whenever you need to hear them. And remember, we're all connected. So connect yourself through loving and kindness to yourself, to others, and to the world. And have a wonderful time listening to, listening to yourself, listening to others. I know you can do it. So that's it for this week. Until next week, stay safe, wear your masks, wash your hands, keep safe space, be kind to one another. And I'll see you next week for the March 21st to the 27th. It, we're going to focus on eating nourishing food and promoting self-esteem with a positive mindset. Lots of big words, but we'll talk about them next week. So take care. Be kind to each other, as I said, and stay safe. Hope to see you soon.